What's up, guys? Tech James here. Hopefully, all of you guys are well. So, some of you might have noticed on the PS Vita, there are certain apps which just seem a bit pointless. Stuff like Welcome Park, maybe Parental Controls, but there is an app which is completely pointless because it's discontinued, and this is known as the Near app. If you guys don't know what the Near app is, it was kind of like a failed like feature it didn't really make sense why anyone would want to use this basically it has like a little description here if you open this app you'd be able to see what type of games people are playing around you now where i live literally no one even plays the ps vita let alone in 2020 i don't think anyone even played it when it first came out which is kind of sad but that's just the reality where i live no one's really into this sort of thing so this app was completely pointless and this app is even more pointless now because it simply doesn't work if you open up this app you literally just get a blank screen with the near logo and you just can't do anything so in this video i will be showing you guys how to turn your near app into a backup of vita shell so this can be useful for different reasons. Let's say you accidentally delete Vita Shell and you're like, oh no. You can either reinstall it using um, Hanko or what you can do is open up the Near app. Now the Near app is a pretty cool backup because it will let you save Vita Shell as your kind of system app. If you guys didn't know, system apps are actually not on the UXO. They are labeled as VSO. So let me just show you guys. Um, if you've never noticed in Vita Shell, if you just back out main menu, you guys can see VSO. These are all of our system apps and this storage is allocated for them. So we're basically gonna be putting Vita Shell on the VSO but we're going to be adding it to the near app and then we've got a pretty cool backup and if anything goes wrong you've always got vita shell even if you lose your sd to vita if you lose your memory card if you format your system you're always going to have this vita shell backup so this can be quite useful and maybe a few people like this now this is the best on enso 3.60 and 3.65 however i'm just running this new the normal firmware 3.68 and it's going to work completely fine for me even with sd to vitas it will work now just keep in mind this can have quite a few glitches with it I'll put a diagram on the screen but I'm going to talk you through basically some of the glitches and obviously some of the benefits so it will remove the theme if you guys have a theme on your PS Vita make sure you've got this backed up and save because it might actually delete it uh, it's going to rearrange your home screen so if you've got apps in certain places maybe take a few screenshots because it might rearrange everything and just mess some stuff up also it might hide some apps so this could be quite annoying but again I will show you guys how to fix it don't worry everything can be sorted out in a couple of minutes and um, the benefits is a VSO app, Vita Shell backup and it's perfect for 3.65 ENSO. So let's go ahead and let's install it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. We need to connect our PS Vita to our computer. So what we're going to do, we're going to tap on the start, we're going to press select and we are going to go and connect this now and it's going to be very easy to grab. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the link in the description of this video. Let's find the VPK and from there I'll show you guys what to do. So make sure to check out the first link in the description and that will bring you to the official GitHub. So here it is, VSOI, and it says here, this should replace Near with Vita Shell. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, make sure to try and install this maybe about two or three times and then hopefully it should be working by then. It's intended for ENSO 3.65 users and of course this will work on 3.60 users and other firmware versions as well. As I said, I'm not even on ENSO and I managed to get it working. So it replaces near with Vita Shell to ensure you don't ever lose it, even if you format your console. So this is very cool. As I said before, this will place Vita Shell on the VSO, which basically makes it a system app. Keep in mind that any applications installed to the URO should be moved back to the UXL before using it, or they'll stop working because the database will rebuild. And that's when I said the themes and stuff might lose. If you don't care, you can delete the bubbles and reinstall them anyway. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and get the VPK. So all we need to do is just click on vsoi.vpk and we're just going to wait for it to download so once it's downloaded all we have to do is go to our downloads folder and simply find it so here is mine and what we're going to do we're going to click on it and simply drag and drop it onto our ps vita if you're using ftp you can also simply just drag and drop it across and there you go so what we're going to do is we're going to go and install it and i will show you guys how to set it up how to get it working and how to fix any issues that you might have 
Right guys, so we are back again. Let's go into our UXO and let's get this VPK installed. So it should be somewhere on here. VSOI. Press X. Press X again. Just wait a couple of seconds and this should install very fast. Now, once it's installed, all we're going to do is just back out of EtherShell and we can go ahead and find it on our home screen. So let's see. It should be on the last page and here it is, the VSOI app. Now, as soon as you open this, it's basically going to sort itself out and then it's going to do like a refresh. So let's just press X. You're then going to get to this screen. As you can see, it's going to start mounting partitions and stuff like that. If you guys want to pause and read everything, you can go ahead and do it. It basically backs up some stuff as well. So it says rebooting in 10 seconds. We're basically just going to wait for our PS Vita to reboot. And once it's rebooted, we can get everything sorted out. And of course, we've got to check, is it working? Now in every video I like to kind of cover a bit of troubleshooting. If you guys are having any problems with this, what I'd recommend doing is trying to install it again. And then if that fails, try it one more time. If you guys have any issues with this app whatsoever, try and install it three times and hopefully it's going to work. The first time I tried to set this up, it basically just didn't work at all. Second time, worked perfect. So I guess some stuff just happens like that. But as you can see, it's updating the database. Let's just wait a couple of seconds and then we can actually test out this app. And of course, we've got to sort out our home screen as well because it's going to remove some stuff. So let's go onto the PS Vita home screen and as you can see it's removed my nice grey theme and put some weird blue one on there. So let's just sort that out first. What we're going to do is just going to run our custom firmware. Obviously if you're using Enso or anything like that don't worry because it's already going to be running. And the reason why I don't use Enso a lot of people ask me it's because I make videos where I want to test different stuff. I want to unplug the SD to Vita you know I want to unplug the memory card. I don't want to be running Enso and always having to downgrade back to this you know firmware I like to get my PSV to on stock firmware just so I can actually test stuff for videos but yeah that is the reason simply just because I make YouTube videos so what we're going to do is we're going to open up VTShell to start off with as I said we're, we're going to fix everything before we actually test out that app and then what we're going to do from here is we're going to tap circle as many times as possible just to get back to the home menu. We're then going to press triangle and we're going to press X on refresh live area. What this is going to do is basically bring back your missing apps. So if you guys installed this and you just thought, what the hell have I done? Don't worry because we can actually fix everything. Just wait for it to refresh and some of your apps will actually start appearing back. And here we go guys, and that is perfect, exactly what I wanted to see, refreshed 10 items, and if we scroll down, there you go, it's brought everything back, that is all good. So maybe refreshing the database is quite good, apart from the theme going and the rearranging of icons, basically everything else can be fixed, and I think it's about time I got a brand new theme anyway. So what we're going to do now, let's go ahead and test it out. What happens when we open up near, before, did absolutely nothing, now it should actually open up a copy of VitaShell. So this is what it would do before. Uh, as you can see, it's going to bring up VitaShell for us. Now, this is a very old version of VitaShell. That's because this kind of like near replacement homebrew isn't exactly the, like the most update thing. You know, it was from 2018 or something like that. What we're going to do, we're going to press X and we're just going to update VitaShell as easy as that. So let's just wait for it to update. I've seen a few people say that they couldn't get their VitaShell updated, uh, but I wouldn't really worry too much. You know, Having a Vita Shell backup is good anyway, even if it's not exactly on the latest version. But let's just wait for this, and then we can open it, see if it updated, I guess. But it's always good just to have a Vita Shell backup, and especially on a system app, I think that's pretty cool. So take a look at this, guys. We have got regular Vita Shell. Close out of it. Scroll over to the near app. Start it up. Oh, I haven't got the um, like the memory mod installed. And then we've also got this Vita Shell. It's very cool. I really like that. It's really nice having a backup, you know, just in case anything goes bad. So that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you turn the Near app into a Vita Shell backup. Can be quite useful just in case you do a big mistake. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.